Hi, this is Coach Pomai. Welcome to Ice Mental Game Training Podcast 21, Skating a Clean Program, Learn from the National Championships. I was fortunate enough to attend the Canadian National Championships this year. I went as part of my work, not just as a casual spectator. I was there for all of the senior short and free programs in all disciplines. I learned much and would like to share some observations I hope you will find helpful. One comment I heard from skaters who aspired to compete at the senior level at nationals was that the skating was disappointing. It was just like any other competition. They said that there were so many mistakes, very few clean programs, and even fewer programs were skates of a lifetime. In other words, these programs were not perfect. This isn't a phenomenon only observed in Canada, It's universal. I was talking with a friend and parent of a skater who went to the U.S. Nationals earlier this month to watch her skater compete. They stayed to watch the senior groups. I asked how the skating was, and she commented that it was not what she or her skaters expected. There were so many mistakes. The skaters at the senior level were nowhere near perfect. The truth is, this is the truth. Skating is a very tough sport, The physical, artistic, and mental demands are phenomenal. When you perform or see a clean program or a skate of a lifetime, it's a rare experience. Treasure it. It is something to aspire to, but very unproductive to worry about and can lead to frustration and feeling stuck. Programs don't have to be skated flawlessly to win or to move a crowd. At Canadian Nationals, there were skaters who received standing ovations. The majority were not perfect programs, but programs that reached out and touched the audience in different ways. Programs in which the skaters skated their best that they had at that moment in time. The crowd was moved to their feet for a number of reasons. There were skaters who were honored for their body of work. There were sentimental favorites, new favorites. There were skaters who did their job and put out solid technical programs. And there were skaters who had a poor short program, but came back to skate a thrilling free skate. Then there were two skaters who were able to put everything together at the right moment and steal the show. Keep in mind that every one of these national competitors earned the right to be at the competition. They are all amazing athletes. This article is not meant to minimize their achievements in any way. The point of this is for you to realize that out of the more than 100 senior skaters who competed at nationals, there are only a handful of competitors who came close to skating a clean program. Even knowing this, many competitive skaters will not be able to skate their best because they worry too much about not being perfect. This is skating. Mistakes are a part of this complex technical sport. These national skaters allowed themselves to compete even though they were not perfect. They didn't let mistakes in practice or previous competitions keep them from practicing and competing at the highest levels. Mistakes are opportunities to learn. Failures or disappointments can serve to motivate you to do better the next time. When you accept this, you will take the first step to moving forward in your ability to train and compete. You are not accepting mediocrity. You will still strive for perfection, but perfection is not an expectation. Don Shula said it best. Strive for perfection, but settle for excellence. Here's your action plan. Make plans to go out and see what it's like to compete at the level you want to compete at this season. For example, if you want to skate at nationals, I highly recommend that you make time and go watch a nationals competition. If you want to skate novice next year, I recommend you watch novice skaters at a competition before you get to that level. See if you can watch in person rather than on a video. It's just not the same. This exercise will prepare you and your mindset to compete at the next level in many ways. You will bust any erroneous preconceived notions about what it takes to skate at the next level. You will learn what it's really like instead of making unrealistic assumptions that create fear. You will be able to create a realistic picture in your mind, which is good for visualization. You will see that there are skaters at these levels that you can relate to. This will allow you to build your confidence before you hit the competition. Go to our website for the link to watch Elage Balde steal the show with the skate of a lifetime. Do you feel stuck and frustrated with where you are? Do you beat yourself up over making mistakes even when you know better? You're listening to this because you want to change your mental game. 
Ask yourself, what will it be like at the end of the season if I don't make a change now? To build a strong mental game, you need to learn the techniques and practice them over time. You need to do this consistently every day on and off the ice. Over time, this mindset will become natural. Then it will be there when you need it. Start your journey worry to worry-free competition. Download a complimentary ebook called Confidence Mythbusters now in the link below. Thanks for listening. Hey, please do me a favor and share this if you find it helpful. If you want to learn more, you can find us at icementalgame.com or like our page on Facebook at Ice Mental Game. Until next time, this is Coach Pomai saying aloha and happy skating.